The island nation of Fiji holds a very special place in my heart. In 1977, I went to Fiji for the first time with my son, my associate, part of my staff, a businessman. We spent a number of weeks in Fiji, and I was not disappointed with the beauty of the country, the mountains, and the oceans, but especially the people. The people were calm and docile and warm and friendly, but it hasn't always been like that. In fact, a century and a half ago, Fiji was the cannibal capital of the world. In the 1860s, a man lived whose name was Undre Undre. The record is that he's listed among the four most wicked men who ever lived in that he ate 999 of his own people. Now, Fiji is a beautiful place. Fiji is actually from Jerusalem, the uttermost part of the earth. Recently, I was in Fiji and with me was uh, a credentialed pilot accompanying me for the entire journey. And I mentioned that Fiji was the uttermost part of the earth from Jerusalem and that Jesus said, you're to get the gospel to Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And I said, that's Fiji. Well, he went to his cell phone, which had a calculator, and he had a special app and was able to calculate the nautical miles from the airport in Israel to the airport in Nandi at Latoka, Fiji. And he found that, yes, the nautical mileage between those two airports is the most distant of any other airport from Jerusalem. It is the uttermost part of the earth. Now, Fiji is a very special place. I have dear friends there. I will be visiting in a very short time some of my own blood-related family members, that is, blood-related in Jesus Christ, members of royalty, whose great-great-great-great-great-grandfather actually combined all of the peoples of Fiji together. That was Ratu Seteru Dakambao. But back to the story about Undre Undre. While I was there some months ago, I met the great-great-great-great-grandson of Undre Undre. And this man was a Sunday school teacher in a Methodist church. I asked him about his great-great-great-great-grandfather, and he said, it's a marvelous story that most people don't know. He said, the missionaries came and my ancestor rejected them. He loved his flesh too much. Flesh means cannibalism, eating human flesh. He'd eaten flesh since he was just a child. He loved it too much, so he rejected the missionaries. But finally, he surrendered, believed the Bible message that they gave, and accepted Jesus Christ as a Savior. That was news to me, because history doesn't talk much about conversion, just talks about the dark side of cannibalism. And the missionaries said to, uh, the great, 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 great grandson said to me, the missionaries said to him, now that you've received Christ and you're a Christian, you must practice your faith. You're going to have to give up your flesh, that is, eating human flesh. He said, I can't do it. I'm addicted to it. And this, this ancestor, this man whose ancestor was one of the foremost wicked men who ever lived, told me that it took about a year and a half for Undre Undre to give up eating flesh. Now, many people are genuinely saved, yet still addicted for a period of time. But if they are truly born again, there will be an ultimate change. So Undre Undre, the most wicked man of his generation, actually was born again, stopped eating his flesh, was a practicing Christian before he died, and I expect to see him in glory. Fiji is a rare and wonderful place.